Japan pulled off its first ever moon landing after a robotic explorer touched down on the lunar surface. Japan is now the fifth country to have landed a spacecraft on the moon. The success was also a moment of redemption after a spacecraft developed by a private Japanese space company failed its attempted moon landing last year. Japan's moon landing comes on the heels of the failed landing of the first lunar lander launched from the US in decades. But the Japanese robot immediately suffered a power glitch of some sort that prevented its solar cells from generating the electricity needed to keep it alive in the harsh lunar environment. That was pretty much all we knew about the robot's status until early Monday morning, January 21st, when the agency gave us another update. And the news was relatively encouraging, the lander has not been declared dead, and its handlers are working toward a possible recovery. When the robot's battery power dipped to 12% capacity on the lunar surface, the lander powered down intentionally to avoid being unable to restart for a recovery operation due to over-discharge. The other four nations that have soft-landed a spacecraft on the moon are the Soviet Union and the United States, both of which first did so during the Cold War space race, China, which first hit the gray dirt in 2013, and India, which joined the club in August 2023 with its Chandrayaan-3 mission. The United States has not returned to the moon in decades primarily due to shifting priorities, changing political landscapes, and budgetary considerations. After the Apollo program successfully landed astronauts on the moon in the late 1960s and early 1970s, subsequent administrations focused on other national priorities, such as the Space Shuttle program, the International Space Station, and robotic exploration missions. The immense costs associated with crewed lunar missions, coupled with changing political priorities and public interest, led to a prolonged hiatus from lunar exploration. In recent years, there has been renewed interest in returning to the moon, with NASA's Artemis program aiming to land astronauts on the lunar surface by the mid-2020s, signaling a potential resurgence in human lunar exploration. This is the Brain Maze, signing off.